An event's been launched to help people with visual impairments. Held at the Central Portsmouth Library, there was an array of technology, audio equipment and information for coping with a visual impairment. Visitors were invited to try out a variety of the equipment to see how it could help them in their day-to-day -day life. Our reporter Kirsty Chambers went along to the event. The sight loss equipment and information day was set up to support people with visual impairments. It offered them a chance to get interactive with technical equipment. Whilst there is quite a, a large number of, of, of equipment uh, that's available, having the opportunity to look at a, a range of things in one place isn't often presented. And so by doing something like this as, a, as an exhibition, um, visitors are able to do that with ease. The event exhibited a range of technology to enhance a person's well-being. Technical equipment, it, which is very much in the fore in terms of supporting people with, with a visual impairment, is very much the, the way forward. So as an example, digital magnification is very clever, uh, very easy to use and the basis of the technology means that it can be adapted to suit most people's needs and type of visual impairment. Susan Herald has lost most of her sight and travelled from the Isle of Wight to attend the event. She often relies on speech programmes to help her with her everyday living. When the post comes I could put it on top of my scanner and it will read it to me um, and then the um, speech programme will read everything that's on the screen and as I'm typing, it will tell me what I'm typing and then read it back to me. So that without any sight, you can actually use your computer as you did when you were sighted. Visitors were able to trial the equipment on display to get a better sense of its workings. One display featured audio players that were designed to be easily controlled. The charity provides a range of specially adapted audio equipment for people with sight loss. Uh, when we talk about uh, specially adapted, uh, we're talking about things like colour contrasted controls and tactile markings, which make the equipment easy to use and to navigate around. The Hampshire-based charity Open Sight organised the event to raise awareness of the near 2 million people in the UK living with a visual impairment. Any sensory loss is very hard for other people to understand. Um, Perhaps a physical disability is obvious, maybe because someone has a stick or a crutch or is in a wheelchair. That's fairly obvious. Similarly, some learning disability, by the way it portrays and presents itself, can be obvious. However, sensory loss, whether it's vision or hearing, is often referred to as a hidden disability because it isn't obvious that someone may have problems with their vision or hearing. Since losing part of his sight in a road traffic accident, Paul Crosley Turner has noticed an impressive change in the services available for people who are visually impaired. There's a lot more available. And when I, back when I had my accident, there, there was not a lot in Portsmouth at all. But now he's come on leaps and bounds now. There's a lot more um, disability awareness around. Along with live demonstrations, people could get first-hand advice and support on coping with sight loss. Kirsty Chambers for That Solent.